Hello. So this is a part of our series on uh, offering learnings from uh, a self-managed organization. And uh, at Instagram, we're using Holacracy uh, and uh, other collaborative practices, including <coughs> nonviolent communication or conflict resolution practices. And we come across different things. So uh, this is more about like uh, sharing honest feedback. So what had happened was that somebody had made rice and uh, the rice was not cooked and around 10 people were eating the rice but uh, I noticed that uh, nobody was talking about it and according to me it was almost like 60% cooked you know and it's new rice, organic rice and brown rice and somebody was not used to it but the point is that nobody was speaking that the honest feedback so I brought it up and then others spoke and then I noticed that one of the people in the group was about to leave a half a rice and other, nobody else was there and asked her that would you have, would you be like uh, not eating this? She said yes. So I said would you have the courage to tell the person who made the rice that, that uh, you won't be able to eat it. So she made a face as if that oh you know how can that happen. So then after the work that she does, if somebody else uh, notices something which is like a faux pas, would she like them to keep quiet and, uh, and let it go and let others you know, who are in the outside world see it and not enjoy it? So yeah, so somewhere she was understanding it and uh, realized that uh, she would want honest feedback. And at the same time, we are also scared of feedback because the way sometimes the feedback comes. It comes as a, as a blame, as an attack, as a, a strong judgment and, and then we have our own pain around blame and attack, <coughs> hearing blame and attack and seeing it as punishment and other you know uh, hormones coming inside us and fear arising and, and we are justifying it. So I mean it's the whole idea of feedback is that there is very little honesty and especially in a collaborative system where you don't have the bosses moving around and looking at who's messing up. And uh, I mean, there are people who are uh, like a self-organized system, like if the uh, <coughs> heart doesn't get the oxygen, it's gonna give the feedback. Or uh, if the stomach is, you we eat something which is not very safe for us, it will just throw up. And it will give information to the other parts of the body, you know, or the tongue will give the information that the taste is not good, which means that sometimes the food could be spoiled also. So there is a, that movement. But this is more like a self-directed movement that one part experiences attention, it communicates to other. So in a collaborative organization where we're expecting this to happen, it's almost essential. And